Well, my name's Dave Alvin, and yeah, I got busted shoplifting at Kraft Records. Bastards. So I stole these when no one was looking. I just kind of grabbed the first thing that came to my hand. Oh, waiting for Little Milton. I know a little, blue little Milton was a friend of mine, and I recorded with him. And he was one of the great blues and soul singers ever. Wow, this has got everybody on it. This is cool. I can't wait to hear this. And this, Otis Redding live at the Whiskey Go Go. There used to be a thing before they redecorated the whiskey in the uh, late 80s. But there used to be a cave that you would go down to get on stage. It would go from the second story down to the first story. And down that hallway and down that stairway, everybody that had ever played the whiskey in the 60s and 70s signed their name onto the wall. So it was The Temptations, Johnny Rivers, and Otis Redding, live at the whiskey. Well, you can't go wrong with John Lee Hooker doing boom, boom, and dimples. When they invented the word badass, they invented it for this record. I love to see you strut, up and down the floor. Yeah, the Rick and Ron anthology. Rick and Ron were two independent labels from New Orleans. This is great. This is a great reissue. The Rick and Ron, this is worth getting busted shoplifting for. Let's see. And this, I have no idea what's on Jesus Rock to the Jukebox, but the name alone got me to buy it. Soul Stirrers, Swan Silvertones, you can't go wrong. And last but not least, Merle Haggard, working in Tennessee. Which is uh, something he didn't like to do very much, from what I understand. Bakersfield guy, one of my heroes. Really went down south to give my hand. Wound up Pretty working cool. Opera land. Look at me working anyway, in Tennessee. Kids don't steal. Got no money, got unless, no unless it's really good stuff. <laughs>